Hey guys, um, today I'm here to give you some tips and tricks on how to clean and take care of an infected belly button piercing. Um, as you can see, my belly button is extremely infected. Cute, huh? Yeah. Um, it is extremely swollen, very red, very painful to touch. Um, it's warm on the outside. The skin is a little flaky. Um, and it's making a yellowish green pus, which are the sure signs of an infection. Um, I've had my belly button pierced since June of last year, and I have never had any complications. Um, I always took really great care of my piercing, um, and I never expected it to get infected. Um, I will admit I have stopped cleaning my piercing as much because I have had it since June, almost a full year, 10 months. And um, you should always continue to clean your piercing at least once a week, and I know I fail to do that sometimes. Um, but it just got infected, which can happen. It's very common to get an infected belly button piercing, so don't panic if you do get one. Like I said, the sure signs of it are everything I listed a few minutes ago. Um, so, some quick little tips. Make sure you wash your hands very well before you touch your piercing, which I have already done before this. Um, don't want to add any more bacteria into your piercing. Um, you can also change your shirt every morning and every night before you go to bed and when you wake up to cut down on the bacteria um, because it's going to rub off on the inside of your shirt by your belly button and putting on clean shirts will help the bacteria reduce. Um, you can also regularly clean and change your bed sheets that will help um, cut down on bacteria as well. Um, one thing you do not want to do, which is a common myth, is take out your piercing. When you do that, it will trap the bacteria and pus on the inside and the hole's gonna close up and it's gonna just sit in there and make a big abscess and you're either gonna go have to get it cut open and drained or surgically removed and that's not fun. So make sure you leave it in. Don't change um, the bar. Don't like keep changing it. What I did do, however, is I put in the bar that I got pierced with because it's longer than normal bars and it can accommodate for swelling. So if you have um, a longer bar, you can put that in, but make sure you sanitize it in hydrogen peroxide before you put it in your belly button so that you don't put any germs in there. Um, okay, so as for cleaning, um, something you should already be doing, but um, we'll, if you do it two to three times a day, will help promote natural cleaning and healing is your sea salt soaks. Just take non-iodized sea salt, put it in a cup of hot water, and do your sea salt soaks, which if you don't know how to do those, um, I talk about in my um, changing your belly button piercing for the first time video, so check that out if you don't know how to do those, which if you have a belly button piercing, you should know how to do. Um, or if you have an H2 Ocean Spray or a Saline Spray, you can use that. It's more convenient. Also, when in the shower, take Dial Soap, um, any antibacterial soap that is non-colored, non-scented. This is just plain, regular Dial Soap. Soap it up and clean around your belly button and go up and down. Get it in there and rinse it out well. Do that in the shower. And those two things you should already be doing. Um, regularly. However, um, you need to do them a little more often if it gets infected. Now, the next three products I'm going to tell you about, a lot of people say never to use these things on a piercing. However, when your piercing is infected, it is very convenient to use these things because they will kill bacteria and dry out pus. Um, but as soon as you notice your swelling 
going down or the pus going away, you need to stop using these products because they can indeed dry out your piercing very badly. However, like I said, these things are helpful while they are infected. The first thing, which I did use in the healing process, and it did help me not to get an infection in the first place, is Bactine. It's an antiseptic spray, and a lot of people say not to use it, but I used it the entire time my belly button was healing. Never had any complications from it. Just spray it on here two to three times a day and go up and down. It will kill germs. It is antiseptic. Um, it's a maximum strength antiseptic to kill germs. So that will help the germs. You can also put, um, which a lot of people also say not to use, but while it's infected, yes, Neosporin cream has pain relief, so it will help. And you just want to coat around the hole and get it in there really good, and it will kill your germs. Um, but make sure after like an hour, rinse it out, because the cream sitting in there is like preventing the good bacteria from going in and healing. And something you can use to dry out the pus um, is hydrogen peroxide. And a lot of people are going to be like, no, don't ever use that. This dries out blood. Um, it makes um, pain go away. And it will dry out the pus. It will promote the pus to drain and will get it out of you. You want to soak a cotton ball in it and put it all in your thing, in your thing, in your piercing, and um, it will dry up the pus. Um, something else you can do for the pus, which I have been doing, make sure your hands are clean, and I've been putting one finger like kind of in here, and another finger on top, and not squeezing, but just putting compression, and then I'm just taking the bar and rolling it in circles, and as I do that, the pus is draining. And it might be a good idea to try to naturally drain some of the pus out because it will help the swelling to go down and the pain to go away. That is why you have pain, a buildup of pus, and um, that swells your belly button. Um, something else you can do for pus is take um, a washcloth, put hot water on it, stick it in the microwave for 25 seconds so it's really hot and do a hot compress. Just push it on there and it will help the pus to drain. Um, do not try to puncture it and drain the pus or anything like that. That is ridiculous. You will probably get a worse infection. Um, something else, never use like towels or washcloths to dry off your piercing. You want to use cotton balls, cotton buds, um, things that can be disposed of. Um, yeah, that's basically all I can think of. I'll give you a close-up of what it looks like. It's disgusting, but um, that's what it'll look like. Let me take it out so you can see the bottom, how swollen it is underneath. Ew, pus is coming out, sorry. It's disgusting. As you can see, it's all swollen in here. But uh, yeah. Ewy, 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 ewy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that. But um, yeah guys, that's basically all I could think of. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Bye guys.